on. So I was actually going to record a this or that tag, and I'm actually still going to record that. I'm going to record that after I record this because I wanted to do this haul. I really want to do this haul because I have a bunch of products. I thought it'd be cool to do a haul because, you know, I've never done one, and I thought it'd be fun. So let's go ahead and get started. I got everything from Walmart, by the way. So just so you guys know, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and start with my lashes, basically. The lashes that I'm wearing now, these are the lashes I got. And uh, I got these yesterday. So these are the um, Bring the Salon Home Kiss Lashes. They are, nat okay, they're the Natural Flourish Blooming Lash, or Lashes, Multi-Angle Technology. Um, so basically you can put them in like multi-angles or just regular. I have them in regular. And um, this is in the style Camel Camila's. I'll put that on the screen. Because um, I don't know if I said that right. I'm pretty sure I virtued that. But I'm wearing them today, and I think they are absolutely gorgeous. I'm in love with these lashes. They're so pretty. And then I actually got another pair of lashes from um, Wet n Wild. These are the the Shedding the Fringe lashes. I've used them a couple times, and I even got lash glue on there, so ignore that. Um, I need new lash glue because the lash glue that I've been using, I don't like anymore. I don't know. I just I don't really don't like it. But anyway, these are really pretty. These are for like a dramatic look and I absolutely love these. These are really pretty so I do like these as well. Alright, so the next thing which I actually use in a tutorial is the Airbrush Face Makeup uh, Foundation. This looks really interesting. I wanted to do like a first impression on it but I decided I was just going to do a review on it instead. Like most of my makeup um, foundations and stuff I do reviews on. This is um, in the Shade 120 Classic Ivory. This is for all skin types and it's oil free. So I thought this was really interesting. I decided I want to do a review on this. I did use this in a makeup tutorial that will be up. That will already be up actually. I'll link that down below. So yeah, I, I, I'll I be doing a review on this soon. The next thing um, is this Revlon Colorstay Make uh, Foundation. This is um, for normal to dry skin. And this is in the shade 110 Ivory. And this has... Um, SPF 20 in it, so I'm using this today. I've been wearing a pump foundation for a while, and so I got one, and this looks really, really light, but it actually matches me fairly well, and I'm going to be doing a review on this as well, but I'm wearing it today. Next thing I got is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Contour and Highlight Palette, and this is what it looks like. This is in the shade Light. They have a couple, I think they have like Four different shades or something. I, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but um, I think my boyfriend pointed this out to me when we went yesterday, and I needed a contour um, kit because mine broke. So I had a couple different things I could contour with it. Contour with, but I wanted a powder because I could do something with cream. And I could also do something with powder. So I got this, and I wore it today. And um, I wore the contour shade today. And I'm not going to lie, I absolutely love it so far. It's really good. So I, I do recommend that, honestly. Next thing is going to be my Milani um, lip creams right here. Um, I got three different shades. I got the 17 Fancy, um, 18 Obsession, and then 14 Devastation. Devotion. I've used this, uh, this red one a couple times. I love these, the color of these. They're so gorgeous. Um, I'm going to do a review on them before I say too much, but I'm going to definitely do a review on them. And, uh, yeah. So I got those. Because I'm obsessed with lip colors. Um, the other day, this is the only thing I have out of Ulta, so I'm going to get this out of the way. But the other day, um, my boyfriend's been wanting me to have a black lipstick. So we went in and I got the NYX Liquid uh, Cream Lipstick. And this is in the shade Nightmare, I do you believe? Alien. This is the shade Alien, and I'll just swatch it on my hand for you guys. It is a nice black, and I wore it. I did a tutorial, but I'm going to redo the tutorial because my face was like half cut off, so I couldn't use it. So I'm going to be doing a tutorial with this soon. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a review on that or not. I might. If you want me to do a review, then let me know. I'm thinking about going back and getting the other colors, honestly. So if you want me to do the like, lip swatches for it, let me know as well. And the comments down below. The next thing, I'm kind of like all over the place, by the way. Uh, I got three different um, lipsticks from 
I don't remember who these are by, honestly. Um, Maybelline. Okay, these are Maybelline lipsticks. I don't know the lip line, and I'm pretty sure this one's from a different lip line, because these have, like, blue containers, and this one has, like, a purple container. Uh, but this one is a purple. I'm going to swatch these for you. I got, um, 750 Wickedly White. I've been wanting a white lipstick. And then I also got 835 Sapphire Siren, and then 681 uh, Vibrant Violet. So I have all, like, um, colorful shades. I'm going to swatch these for you. These are the colors that my boyfriend actually picked out, by the way. He was like, you should try these colors. I was like, I'm down. So when it comes to the colors, I'm not scared to try them out. I, I plan on doing tutorials for each of these colors as well. Um, I have a purple tutorial up. I'll link that down below as well um, if you want to check it out. The next thing, but moving on, the next thing I got was the L'Oreal Paris. This is the um, Julian, yeah, Julian um, collection, I think. Um, this is what the packaging looks, packaging looks like. It's so pretty. I absolutely love it. Again, my boyfriend picked this one out. Um, this is a bright red color. This is in the shade 401 Julian's Red. And uh, my boyfriend knows how much I love my red lipsticks. He picked it out. Um, he picked out a lot of stuff. Like I said, he actually like kind of puts things in the cards he thinks I'll like. So yeah, I can't wait to try that out. And next thing, this is like the last lip product I have. Yeah. This is the last lip product I have, and I wanted something to help with my lips. Um, I wanted to, like, I feel like my lips, like, they're super dry, and this is um, something that I saw, and I was like, okay, awesome. I'm going to be doing a review on this as well, but this is the Neutrogenia, Neutrogenia Rev Revelasting Lip Balm, and this, is, they have a couple different shades. This is what it looks like, and um, this is in the shade, I think, Blush. Yeah, Healthy Blush 20, and this has, this is a sunscreen as well, As this is like, okay, it has SPF 20 in this, I've been wearing this, um, I've been trying to wear this every single day, because I think it says, um, if you wear it for a week, it you can see the difference, so I was like, I want to try and see if it actually works, and then I'll do a review on it, so I plan on doing a review on this. Next two things, well, next thing, there's two different things, but same thing, uh, is concealer, I got two different shades. I got a dark one and then a light one. This one is in fair and this one is in medium. I got the medium one to do cream contour with because I've never done cream contour. So I was like, I'm going to try it out. And so I got this and I can't wait to try it out. Um, I thought it was going to be different. I'm wearing this concealer today underneath my eyes and on my nose and my forehead and everywhere else I usually conceal. So I might do a review on these, but I'm not entirely sure. If you want to see a review on these, let me know down in the comments down below and I'll definitely do that for you guys. The next thing that I got was the Voluminous Butterfly uh, Mascara. I'm wearing this today as well and this is in the in Midnight Black. And um, this is what the brush looks like. It is an interesting brush. I've never seen a brush like that. And I was actually kind of confused. I was like, how am I supposed to wear this? And, you know, I was kind of confused because the brush is really weird. But, uh, yeah, I really do love this stuff. I'm wearing it today. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. I, I, I definitely recommend this stuff. It's amazing. Okay, next thing I'm also wearing. Um, a lot of the stuff I'm actually wearing. Or I have worn. This, I needed a new um, brow kit because my, my best friend actually got me more brow stuff. For me, and because uh, she knew I was running low, so she decided to just buy her, buy me some herself. And so I decided to try it in something different because I love Elf. You know, I love their their um, brow stuff. I've had mine for a year, and it's still working. It's still going strong. I hit pan. I'm almost out. But yeah, I decided to try something different. So I got the Maybelline Brow Drama Pro Palette, and I'm wearing this today. And I'm wearing um, this medium, this shade right there, this, um, the one in the middle. And I will say, I, I love this stuff. This stuff is really good. It made my eyebrows look amazing. I absolutely love it. And I definitely recommend this because I'm definitely going to be getting more of this. Also, because I don't set my brows. Like, I don't know if you guys ever realized, I don't set my brows. I kind of just put the brow uh, product on and I'm good. Because normally my brows stay in place throughout the day anyway. So I'm not really worried about it. But I decided, why not go ahead and get something to set my brows with? So I went ahead and got these uh, L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylist Plumper Brow Gel Mascara. This is in the shade Transparent, and this is what the patching looks like. It is gorgeous. It's pretty. I love it. And then this is what the wand looks like. And I'm wearing this today. I decided to set my brows, 
and honestly my brows look really good today in my opinion I don't know about you guys but in my opinion they look good they're usually not this good for me so definitely 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 love it next thing that I got um, I have three different colors of this this is the Revlon color stay eyeliner I got brown black and then what color is it? sapphire I'm wearing the sapphire in my waterline as you can see um, this makeup tutorial we will be up by now so it'll be linked link down below as I said um, but yeah um, I absolutely love these I don't like eyeliner pencils very often but these are like a gel liner love them they're gorgeous they're easy to light on and yeah they don't hurt or anything like that so I definitely love these and I'm glad I got these next thing I got I needed a concealer I thought this was concealer but this is actually a highlighter um, I'm pretty sure you can use it as a concealer, and I have used it as a concealer. So this is the Pair, the L'Oreal Paris Magic Bloomy Highlighter, and it looks like this, and you know it has the that brush right there, and you twist the knob to get the product. And I actually love this product. I have the shade Fair, I do believe. Yeah, I think it's in the shade. It's the, the lightest shade because they have different shades. So I got the lightest shade, and this is actually really really pretty. I do like it, and yeah. Um, the next highlighter I got. I really needed highlighter guys, so I was like, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go get an actual highlighter. So I got the um, Master Strobing 6 um, highlighter. This is by Maybelline. This is the Sh Sherlinger Illuminator or something. I don't know how you say that. But this is what it looks like. It's just a stick, obviously, and that's the product. And this is how much product you get with it. Which honestly, a little goes a long way. So I love this stuff. It is a good highlighter, definitely recommend, and I've tried it out, obviously, so yeah. The next two things I actually got from yesterday, and these are um, masks. This one is the Charcoal Black Sugar Polishing Mask, and this one is the Black, the Charcoal, the Charcoal and Black Sugar Mud Mask. I got these because I have really bad black, uh, blackheads, and I know um, charcoal is really good for getting rid of blackheads. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and try these. They're only a dollar. I'm going to try it and see if they work for my blackheads because I need to do something about these damn things. Next thing, my boyfriend actually found these and he put these in the car. I didn't know about them until we got home. These are the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Arts. And these are, I thought these were for nails because it says lid, line, lash. And I honestly thought these were like for nails because they just look like they would be. And um, I got the, what color is this? I, don't know, I got the purple one and then the blue one. I don't know what colors they are. It doesn't say what colors they are. But this is what the applicator looks like. I did not realize this was for eyeshadow and stuff like this. Or stuff like that. So, um, I thought it was like for like, and then this, there's this where you can use like for like eyeliner or something. I don't know. But, um, I can't wait to use these. I'm going to figure out how to use these. Or, like, what kind of tutorial to use these in, and then I'm going to use them, and I'm going to see how well they work, because they seem fun, and I want to try them out. Next thing, my boyfriend also picked out, I think he saw them and thought they were super pretty or something. Um, a lot of the stuff my boyfriend, like I said, he picked out, and he put it in the cart. I didn't know about some of them until we got home. Um, just so you guys know, my boyfriend, he used to actually uh, have a lot of makeup because he used to do cosplay. I do plan on him doing my makeup because he hasn't hasn't done makeup in a long while. And I thought it would be fun to see if he still knows what he uh, knew in high school. So, we're going to be doing that sometime soon. But anyway, so I got two different shades. They are the, I don't, I'm not entirely sure, but it's a continuous uh, color pigments. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's really pretty. I got, I don't know what the shades are actually, but I got the pink one and the blue one. They are super pretty. And I tried using the pink one before and it kind of like, whenever I try to blend it out, it kind of like just took the entire product away. So I got to be careful with those, but I do love them. They are so gorgeous. And then there's three more eyeshadows here that are super duper sparkly. Um, I'm not really into sparkles and stuff. And I tried to use... Um, this one right here, this is the Maybelline Eye Studio. I got the shades Purple Icon, Pink Persuasion, and then Sapphire Siren. Um, I tried using the Pink Persuasion. I don't like these, actually. I'm probably going to try the other two, but this one I'm definitely giving away to my best friend. Um, because she's really into makeup as well, and she loves sparkly eyeshadows, but I don't, I don't like these. So I'm probably going to give these away to her, but we shall see 
if I can make them work or whatever, but as of right now, I don't really care for these, but I love the colors of them. Next thing I got is the um, Revlon Photo Ready. This is the eyeshadow palette, and this is in the shade 503 Mousse, and this is what the palette looks like on the inside. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm going to actually try it and use it the way you're supposed to, I guess. Like, you use the blue shade first, and then, like, second, and then third, fourth, and then fifth. I want to actually try and do that because I think that would look really pretty, actually. So I'm excited to do that, but, yeah. Next eyeshadow that I actually got, I actually used part of this. I got this. I used this side, but this is the Black Radiance um, eyeshadow, or eye appeal shadow collection. I do not know the shade of this. I'll put it on the screen when I find it. Um, my boyfriend peeled off this the uh, color of it so uh, when he was opening it. So, um, yeah, I will put the name of it on the screen. But I absolutely love the colors right here. I use these colors, all those colors, for my eyeshadow yesterday, which I did a tutorial on. Um, should be up by now, as I said. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I absolutely love the way it turned out and everything. I absolutely love this palette. Next thing I got is this... Uh, Rubble on photo ready, and it's just fixed. I don't know if this is a foundation or if this is a concealer. I'm assuming it's a foundation, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, this is how much product you get, and um, I'm assuming this is a foundation. I'm going to try it out because, you know, why not? Uh, I, this is how it comes, by the way, so I don't, it doesn't say anything. This is an SPF 20. Um, so, yeah, I'm guessing this is a foundation. So, I'm excited to actually use this. I'm in the shade 110 Ivory. Next thing I got is the Maybelline Cover Stick Correcting Concealer. This is in the shade Green. Um, obviously, it's green and everything. I plan on doing um, two different types of tutorials where I'm going to need this. And um, I'm not going to say either one right now because I'm still... There's one that I'm going to be doing this month. It's how to cover up tattoo and I'm going to use this to see if it will work because I'm going to be doing it on this tattoo right here and I have a bunch of red and this covers up redness. So, um, yeah, I'm going to actually try this out and see how well it works on the like, covering up tattoo along with um, concealer and foundation and everything like that. Um, but, yeah, that's t that, um, that video will be coming soon. So stay out for that. And I'm also going to be using it, that in another how to cover type ta uh, cover uh, type video. I'm not going to say what I'm going to be covering up, but I'm going to be covering up something. But I'm still debating on if I'm going to actually do that video, so I don't know. If I do, then, you know, it'll be up on my channel soon. But anyway, next thing I got is the uh, Dream Pure BB Cream. This is the 8-in-1 Beauty Balm. Skin Clear and Perfector. This is by Maybelline, and this is in the shade Light Slash Medium Sheer Tint. I've never used BB cream, so I was like, why not go ahead and try it? it I mean, why not? I've never used it before, so I'm excited to use this. Um, I'm not going to do any reviews or anything on this. I just wanted to use it, to be honest. So, yeah, I definitely got this, and I want to use this. Okay, I have three more things left, and um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of two of them because they're the same thing. So, um, as you guys know, I was running low on my Fit Me foundation, so my boyfriend got me two more. I was gonna get—I went back to the store to get one more. He decided to get two more, so he got two more of these. And for me, and say so yeah, I am not gonna be running out of these anytime soon. But yeah, I absolutely love this foundation. Um, I might be doing a review on it soon, but uh, yeah. So the last product I actually got was the Revlon Photo Ready Powder. This is in the shade Fair to Light. Um, I have a bunch of. Revlon um, photo ready stuff as well as Revlon or Maybelline master stuff so I don't know maybe I'll do like I might do like little, like the one brand type of tutorial like you see on YouTube everywhere I might do something like that soon because I think that'd be really really fun so we'll see how that goes but anyway yeah this is what I got lastly but not leastly I'm excited to use all these products half of them I've already used but yeah, I'm going to be doing reviews on certain ones, so stay tuned to that. That's going to be most, I think maybe most of June I might be doing reviews. I don't know. Um, I already have this month's view, uh, videos planned out, but I'm going to be switching some of those out and, you know, re rescheduling my videos and st uh, stuff like that so that way I can get reviews in this month as well. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! It's a really pretty sparkly brown, so if you like sparkle or shimmer or whatever.